right back, uh, back again today. Uh, boring material, but kind of exciting. Really, uh, really exciting things just happened. And uh, I'm gonna let you in on it. I actually came down here to set up this shot and this is something we've uh, looked at before, uh, uh, but it was it was worth revisiting because you know I'm always looking out for you. And uh, something very interesting happened. I have a surprise in just a minute uh, because uh, shock to me, really strange, strange thing just happened. And I'm going to be able to show you that here in a moment. But I wanted to take a closer look at this and uh, if you remember from I think uh, episode 6 I can't quite remember I told you about uh, this what appears to be Timberwolf shit and uh, uh, it's in my driveway and as you know I, uh, I talked about it I find it interesting here you can see the calcium here and uh, fur. You notice there's almost no organic or what you would consider a uh, flesh type uh, material left. Uh, that seems to have dissolved in the, the stomach of whatever animal this was and I'm quite sure it was a timber wolf. So uh, you wonder why I mentioned this, why I would revisit it. Well it sticks out, it's so white and I don't want to smash it with my car. I don't know why. It doesn't smell. There's nothing in it. It's just fur and bone, I guess. It's just bone. And uh, uh, it got me thinking about digestion. And it made me think, well, guys, I really want to help you out. And I found something for my digestion that's just it's terrific. And, uh, and it's yogurt. And uh, it made me think when I saw this, how pure it was. And it made me think, you know, I've had some great success uh, with that uh, acidophilus, uh, the culture that's in, a, that's in yogurt. And it, uh, it, it, it really improves uh, the damage that you could potentially do when you're using the, the, the lavatory. So... Uh, that seems silly, uh, but since I'm looking out for you, and uh, because uh, we like to learn when we're uh, when we're on the hawk, I figure I'm happy to help. And uh, a, a study I, I read recently, it actually wasn't that recently, a couple of years ago, said the most eaten common denominator with uh, people with short lives were potatoes. And the most uh, significant uh, or common denominator in a, in a person with a long life is yogurt. So we think about that. If you want to live a long time, yogurt, it, the bacteria in there uh, it feeds on the fuel you put in your body. And when it does that, it, uh, it takes away the smell and uh, it uses it seemingly more efficiently. Now, of course, I'm not a doctor. I can only go by what I, uh, by what I do, but I tell you what, uh, I can tell when the day comes when I uh, don't eat very much yogurt, if I've gone a few days, and it kind of goes back to the way it was, which is fine, but uh, smelly. And uh, I, I, I think it's really good for good health. I urge you to look into it, uh, talk to a doctor. Uh, but it's uh, worth noting here, and I think I'm going to leave this. It's in my driveway, like I say, and uh, maybe we'll revisit it, uh, not in this long form, again, but it is interesting, and it got me to thinking about digestion, and you know I want to look out for you guys. So, I I'm talking about that, but here's the surprise. I'm setting up for this shot here today, and a uh, simple shot, and I look down my driveway, and I hear a noise. And we're going to walk over there right now, 
because something very interesting has happened. And uh, I heard some sound and I thought, geez, it could be the wolves coming back. I'll have live footage of the animals coming back. And as you can see, I have work to do today because well, I could get around it on the hawk. I surely couldn't get around this in a car. But this is my driveway, and this tree tipped over as I was setting up for this shot. It's not even windy out, I mean, barely windy. I'm seeing this for the first time. I haven't approached it. I'm learning this along with you, uh, kind of like I did with my uh, sprocket nuts that uh, come off. And there it is. Look at that. Look at that. This tree, I might need to get up on a ladder and take that all the way down. I guess I can cut it off down here. I mean, what a project. What a project I've got now. And you can see down range, there's the, uh, there's the hawk, the end of my finger with the, the uh, Timberwolf uh, leavings uh, down there. And uh, uh, what a shocker. Look at that. Look at that tree fall in the forest. I heard it. I guess I was here. So that doesn't disprove or prove the old adage. Kind of walking under it here. I hope it doesn't fall on me. I don't think it's too dangerous. I was planning on mowing here today. You can see... Uh, we like to pick berries here. There's berries and blackberries and raspberries and blueberries all down here. And uh, we leave it to grow long uh, so we can see, particularly for the small strawberries that we have growing right along the edge of the driveway. And that might even be a strawberry plant. But I leave them till late in the season or late as about this before I mow so uh, we can harvest everything uninterrupted and uh, are undisturbed, I should say. And, uh, and, and that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna shoot this quick video uh, about uh, digestive health and things you learn on the hawk. And I was faced with this calamity here. I'm as shocked as you are. I, I have a lot of work to do. You'll notice if I, I, I don't think I'm going to get to mowing this now tonight. The driveway is about a third of a mile long. And uh, I have just a push mower. I have a, have a tractor, but it's not really on, the, on, a, on a good way right now. So I'm spending more time on the hawk, actually, as you know. So uh, at any rate, uh, today... I'm going to be, uh, I guess, right this second, walking back to the, the hawk. I'm going to kind of scrape over the, the shit over here a little bit. I don't want to hit it with my tires, and I watch it decompo decompose as much as it can over the next several days or month. It did get spread out a little bit. I don't know by an animal or what, but uh, in any event, uh, that's what's happening. And uh, it, it's pretty exciting, actually, to, 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 to see a tree. And, you know, it occurs to me, this seat, this seat isn't actually on. I'll fix that when I have two hands. And, uh, geez, I have nothing more to say. There's that. And, of course, uh, it's all about the hawk. Uh, so there's that. And uh, I have a lumberjack project here. So uh, I'm going to get started on that. Uh, thank you for spending the weekend with me. And uh, we'll see you down the road.